Well, howdy folks. Well, coming to you again from World Headquarters. Uh, we're in the lower level, naturally. Uh, one of the uh, Board of uh, Control explained it to me that uh, people always rise to the level of their competence and then they uh, then they're stuck there. So uh, I've, I, I guess I'm going to be stuck in the basement. Doesn't appear I'm going to ever get a chance to, you know, to move to uh, to any better accommodations. And it looks like I'm going to be doing solo work again. So we're trying to improvise here with what we got. Uh, got a piece of uh, wood, I believe. I, I'm, I'm thinking this is some more flowering crab and uh, it's kind of an oddball piece and I put the camera in a little different place thinking maybe we could maybe we could catch a little bit more of the of the action so uh, I think we're about ready to go here I got my I gotta get my glasses on and uh, we can do that and I need my my face shield right here. I think we'll uh, I think we'll start with the five eighths valve. It's going to be kind of bumpy. Uh, I'm thinking I better I better put some cover over over my uh, tool shelf. Well, I'll be spending time trying to clean that darn thing up. It'd be nice if I could remember that before we actually start. But, you know, when you're working solo and doing all the jobs, We just asked for some understanding, and uh, I think we're ready to go now. So we're uh, set up here. Uh, one more thing. Well, let's check and be sure we've got a tight fit here. Yeah, I think we do. So here we are. We're up there around 750. My plan here is to square off this bottom. tenon on here and then turn the piece around and cut the bowl out of the top. We'll see how this goes. I decided to try it that way because this uh, bark side was so uneven. Too bad. Not too bad. Maybe we'll try to sneak in here just a little closer. I don't know 
know what's going to happen here. some kind of nice wood in here uh, I think maybe I think maybe we're gonna I think we'll try and take off a little bit more and then we're gonna we're gonna turn that nub off and we'll cut a tenon in there in here and then we're going to try and turn a bowl the bottom of a bowl on here and then we're going to switch it around and carve the bowl out of the top not exactly sure how that's going to work but in theory it's possible We'll give it a try. Mark out for a tenon here. That's about where we want to be. down to a half inch gouge here.
Now let's see if we can square that tenon up a little bit. Think a little bit. Um, uh, ba, 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 ba. I think we may have, been, may have been a little bit soon on cutting that tenon in there, but I think we're going to have to. Try and get it straight in my mind how this is going to work. And uh, I think we may have jumped the gun just a little bit there. We're getting close to the end. Uh, this is about how. This is about what size bowl we're going to want to make. in there. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have to take this down a ways to get out there. Well, we've about used up our time. We'll see how this goes. If it looks like it's gonna mount anything, why well, we'll try and bring you back in. Thanks for watching folks. Have a good day.